Hey, this is Tyler from Spectracout. Today, I want to show you how to build a 3D lookup table. In order to get your monitor as accurate as possible, you need to correct it with a 3D LUT. This used to be a difficult, time-consuming, and expensive process, but now, thanks to new technology from Spectracow, everyone is able to achieve this level of accuracy. In this short video, I will show you how simple and straightforward the process is. I will now open the Color Cube workflow. Since my meter is already connected, I can skip this step. My source is already connected. I will find the display, which will be the color cube generator. I will go down to Spectracal as the manufacturer and color cube, cube generator as the model of the display device. I will go next. I will select a calibration standard, which for this I'm going to do Simpty Safe, Gamma of BT1886, White Point of D65, and Rec 709 color space. I will then do a pre calibration capture to determine the base accuracy of the display itself before we build a 3D LUT. Now it will measure the grayscale and gamma. We have an average delta of 2.6 for the gamma slash grayscale and the color checker of 6.2. Now we will measure the saturation and luminance uniformity of the monitor. Now it is measuring the display at 100% saturation but different luminance levels for each color. Now we will go to the cube calibration. We can skip over the RGB balance portion as that is included in the color cube. Now we will build our 3D LUT. You go to the AutoCal button, press it, and it will give you a set of options. You will pick our cube size and format. This particular display uses a 17 point cube in the 3DL format. Now we have options. In the cube 3D LUT settings we can pick different patch sizes. We recommend standard but you can if you're in a hurry use fast or detailed if you have a lot of extra time. Due to the new DLC feature, the cube generator will automatically add extra points where it detects nonlinearity in the, in the color cube. This effectively adds a higher number of points to even a standard fast color cube. You can also customize your own set of patches. There is advanced options. If you have a projector and are trying to keep as much light output as possible, you would want to uncheck uh, balance white luminance. This will increase the color error, but it will maintain the luminance if the projector is just on the edge of being bright enough as is. When we are ready, we will push OK, and it will start to build the color cube. During the process, the estimated time remaining will constantly be updated based on how many points it thinks it still needs to calibrate. Our 3D LUT has been completed and loaded into our target display. We will now run a verification to check the the performance of the 3D LUT compared to how it was previously. I will hit the read series button. Now we will read the gamma slash grayscale. 
Note that I did run just the fast 3D LUT calibration. 0.3 delta E average for gamma, 1.2 on the color checker. If we want to, we can go back to our pre characterization. As you can see, the delta E was 6.2 and 2.6. You can see a massive improvement after the 3D LUT. Now I'll measure the linearity so you can compare it to the before. All below 3 delta E2000 on luminance. Luminance average 0.8, saturation 0.7, as compared to delta E of 6.6 .6 and 5.9 before. Well, there you have it, how to build a 3D lookup table. If you want more information, including white papers that cover 3D LUT technology, sales information, or support, and how to download our free color checker or free trial version of SpectraCal Studio, visit SpectraCal.com.